pledges are growing. But is national climate action keeping pace? This 2025 snapshot reveals where eight Asian countries stand on turning global promises into real policy. The report tracks progress on coal phase-out, renewable energy, methane reduction, energy efficiency, and fossil gas across Asia. From global pledges to national implementation, here's how each country stacks up. Indonesia signed multiple pledges, but continues expanding coal and gas. Methane emissions are rising. However, it's one of the few showing solid energy efficiency gains. Japan is reducing methane and improving energy efficiency, but continues investing in ammonia co-firing and overseas fossil gas, undermining its climate credibility. South Korea's pledges are strong on paper, but it's promoting LNG and ammonia, and still lacks a coal phase update. Implementation is falling behind. Vietnam has taken steps on methane and is ramping up solar and wind, yet fossil gas and new coal still feature in its long-term strategy. The Philippines talks transition, but backs it with fossil gas. Renewables are underperforming and methane emissions have increased sharply. India didn't sign all global pledges, but is accelerating renewables. Still, coal remains central, and methane and efficiency progress are limited. Thailand's climate targets are modest. Renewables have potential, but gas remains dominant, and policy support for clean energy is weak. Malaysia has made few specific pledges. Renewables are stagnating, and fossil gas is expanding it is not yet aligned with a 1.5 degrees Celsius pathway. Across the region, voluntary pledges have raised ambition, but progress is uneven and accountability is weak. Only Japan and Indonesia are on track for efficiency. Methane cuts are rare. Fossil gas is locking countries into long-term emissions. The next round of national targets, the 2025 NDC, must integrate global climate pledges with timelines laws and real implementation. Climate pledges don't cut emissions, policy does. Asia's choices in the next five years will define the world's climate future.